greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The work of the Holy Spirit. Forgiveness. Fruit. Unity. These have been our three points of focus for the first three days of June. Today, we focus on the Holy Spirit and love. Those of you who know me well will know that that is by far my favourite topic. 25 years ago, I counted 53 sermons that I had preached on love, and all of them different. There have been many more new ones since, as I have grown in my understanding of this, the greatest gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us read from Romans chapter 5, verses 1 to 5. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. Yes, hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. Wow, what a statement. The Holy Spirit pours out God's love into our hearts. That love, that amazing sacrificial love that God has shown for the world in sending his only begotten Son into the world, that all who trust in him should not perish, but have life, abundant life, both here on earth and to eternity. Wow! Even to the extent of dying on a cross, that cruel, ugly, terrible execution at the hands of evil men, that you and I may be the beneficiaries of his amazing love, his amazing grace. This love, Paul assures us, is the greatest gift that the Holy Spirit shares with us. In 1 Corinthians 13, Paul compares it with numerous other gifts. It's more than tongues, more than prophecy or the most eloquent preaching, more than fathoming the deepest mysteries and knowledge greater even than faith which can move mountains, more than giving all I possess to the poor or even being burnt at the stake. He continues, If I have not love, all of these other things are in fact nothing. He ends with verse 13. Three things remain, faith, hope and love. But the greatest of them all is love. Yes, the love that is patient, the love that is kind, does not envy or boast, is never proud or rude, never selfish, not quick to take offence. It always forgives and rejoices in the truth. There is nothing that love cannot face, there is no limit to its faith, its hope and its endurance. This love will never come to an end. Let us today and every day ask the Holy Spirit to keep on filling us with the power of this love, that we, as Jesus promised, may be known to the world by our love one for another obedient to the command of Jesus to love one another as he has loved us. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, 
Forgive us that we haven't always shown your love, the love of Jesus and of the Father in our relationships, in our homes, in our daily work, or our community, in every aspect of life. Fill us, Holy Spirit, we pray, with the power of love, that love by which Jesus commanded us to love one another as he loves us. Amen. Now may that love which was seen in our Lord Jesus Christ be seen in us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>